Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2019-2020 Gold Rush Autograph Hockey Jerseys. Three box, half case, random player break number one. Did I not? I'm going to do the spreadsheet. So there's uh, that, three boxes, that's half of case, random player number one, and the other half we're going to do directly after this break, gold rush, autographed, hockey, jersey. Now my assumption is that these are going to also be uh, replica jerseys as well, but it's going to be fine. All right, so there's the whole list right there. So you can get the entire 1980 Miracle on Ice team. That's pretty cool. Those are cool spots right there. And there's like a combo spot right there. So one spot gets you two. So let's double you up. And let's roll it. Let's randomize it. Four and a one, five times. One, two, three, four, and a one. Fifth and final time. So, Mr. Marco Mills down to Mike Tower. And then four and a one, five times for all these players. One, there's 50 right there. Two, three, four, and a one. Fifth and final time. The 1980 Miracle on Ice team, all the way down to Matt Murray. Sell sheet does indicate a couple licensed jerseys, says William. All right, that's pretty cool then. So that should be a fun little chase. All right. Now, I'm not going to read off all these names right here, but I'll alphabetize by your first names in just a moment. Let me just show you. Chevy Chase is in here? Blackhawks jersey, says Rusty? Is he a big Blackhawks fan? I'm a, yeah, I guess... Did he do a hockey movie? Yeah. All right, so let's sort by column A. So Chris, Edwin, Jason, Lucas, Marco, Marty, Michael. Mike McCarthy has a lot of players here. All the way down there. Oh, he wore it in Christmas Vacation. I see. All right. Are you... Uh, right, <laughs> Mike Tower, Nick L, Stephen K, and William A. Wow, that's that's kind of cool. All right, let me uh, pause the video, allow you to kind of get a handle on your players and spots here, maybe see if there's any trades. I'm going to go run and grab the case, and I'll be right back. Pausing, three, two, one, pause. All right, welcome back, everybody. There were no trades, so that list you saw on the previous screen remains the same. There's the fresh case right here. We're going to pop that open. I'm going to slide three boxes right out of there. One, two, and three. And the other three boxes inside here um, we're going to do for break two, which is coming up in a separate video right after this. All right. Uh, yeah, I will. After this, remind me again after this break. I'm in the middle of a break, Vanilla. All right. Let's see who we got here. All 
All right, who's going to be good at this uh, this uh, Who Am I game here for hockey? All right, then guess it, Bobby. Guess it. <laughs> All right, it's got to be... I think we, we named it the wrong name inside the checklist. All right, I'm a former uh, ice hockey center in the NHL who spent my entire career playing for the league's New York-based teams. Center, right-hander, 5'10", 180. And, uh... My career was ended by concussions. I had 468 goals, 1,013 points along the way before my career was ended by concussions. My 1.17 points per game is best among American-born ice hockey players, active or retired. In 2017, I was named one of the 100 greatest NHL players in history. And I've served as an executive of one of the teams I played for as the president of hockey operations until March 2014. Oh. Late 90s, founded the uh, Companions and Courage Foundation, organization that builds interactive games in children's hospitals in North America. Seems like a pretty good dude. Congressional Medal of Honor Society bestowed the uh, Patriot Award upon me in recognition of my contribution to military morale through my career. I got all sorts of awards. International Humanitarian Award by the Gift of Life Foundation promoting the uh, cure and treatment of children suffering from heart disease in third world countries. I was inducted into the Michigan Sports Hall of Fame. James Keller Award by the Christopher's Organization. Nassau County Sports Hall of Fame. Heisman Trophy Trust recognized me with the Humanitarian of the Year Award in 2008. Wow. 2008, participated in my sixth career Ironman in Panama City, Florida. Seems like a seems like a pretty good dude. Invited to the Vatican and participated in sport at the Service of Humanity, the first global conference on faith and sport, as a guest of Pope Francis in October 2016. Man. Uh, yep, TJ, you got it. It is Pat LaFontaine in his Islanders gear. He played for the Islanders, Sabres, and Rangers. There's the JSA right there. Yep, LaFontaine was number 16. Kind of hard to... There we go. There's the JSA sticker right there. There's La All right, see you, Nick. There's La Fontaine on the back. It looks looks like a yeah, just a replica jersey. So it won't have all the official insignia on there, but definitely has the colors. All right, there you go. No one's making you watch, Bill. No one's making you watch. Go watch The Bachelor. All right, I think in the checklist, for whatever reason, we actually had actually had a, the only LaFontaine on there is the uh, is we wrote Paul for some reason. It's Pat LaFontaine. 
Goes to Mike McCarthy. That might have just been a typo from the Gold Rush checklist. Got another one here. All right, let's not try to show it off too much on the Nick cam here, because it'll be a little more sneaky. Hmm. Oh. Well, I don't have the names on here, but this is, I'm just going to show you. Kind of difficult to play Who Am I with these guys. You got it right, TJ. Yeah, it was, it was La Fontaine. Look at this. It's the, uh, looks like the Montreal Canadiens. Yeah, Montreal Canadiens 10 Cups Club. Wow. There's the JSA certificate right there. Nice. Let me actually bring that up right there. So it has, I don't know these players, John Bouvelier, Henri Richard, and Yvonne Cornier are your one, two, three autographs on there. And that goes to William A. William Avalar has the Montreal Canadiens 10 Cups Club. So let's see how I can show this off right here. Looks like one of those autographs that way. Another one that way. And does it look like this way? This way? Oh, this one did ha does have a logo up front. Nice. And then it says 10 Cups Club on the back. That's awesome. It's pretty cool. All right, I'm going to set this next to me over here. We'll just, I'll fold that up after this break. And so once again, William with that one, William Avalar. There you go. All right, third one. That's a very nice one. Ten, ten cup, cup clubs. Big and expresses are uh, are based off of a number, Randy. Out of fives and under, there's no real number on there. So, but it is a very nice hit. Some old, some old hockey history there. All right. Are you not on this checklist? Hmm. It looks like everyone might have a shot at this. Oh, no, because I don't know how to spell. Right. Because I don't know how to spell. All right. Who am I? 
a retired Canadian hockey left winger and a member of the Hall of Fame, playing most of my career with this team. I, in fact, only played for two teams my entire career. And, I, and I've been associated in one capacity or another with this particular team since the late 50s. And in 2017, I was named one of the 100 greatest NHL players in history. Um, while I was never regarded as the best at my position because I was a contemporary of, uh, contemporary of superstars like Bobby Hull and Frank Molovich, I had a long and stellar career and retired as the fourth leading point scorer of all time and having played the third most games in history at, at my retirement. Despite my, rep- my reputation for devastating hip checks, I was, not- uh, I was a notably clean player who won the Lady Bing Memorial Trophy for sportsmanship in 1971 and 1974. I scored 554 goals as this team, the most in franchise history, and only Ray uh, Bork had subsequently uh, passed my team mark for points and assists. I have 40 playoff goals for this team, placing me fourth on that team's all-time list. And I'm affiliated with this team, Serving on various occasions as a broadcaster, front office, team director of road services, now listed by the team as a team ambassador, part of the coaching administrative staff, got my name engraved on the cup when my team won in 2011. Hockey Hall of Fame in 1981. Yes, George has, I think George was the first one who got it, George Dang, then William. Rusty was about to agree too. Correct, also nicknamed the Chief. John Paul Chief I don't know how to pronounce his last name. Busick? So there's the JSA right there. So a long storied career for him. So there's the JSA sticker, the Hall of Fame inscription. There's his number right there. Pretty nice. Busick on the back. So does this have a Bruins logo on front? No, it just says just says Boston Nine on the front. I don't know how they I don't know how they got they got away with that Canadians logo on the other one. Sneaky, sneaky. All right, there you go. And John Busick goes to. Did I nail it, Jack? Mike McCarthy with that one. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Another three boxes coming up. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. I'll see you next time for more hockey trivia. And who am I? See you later.